so what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your fifth angular tutorial in which we're going to take a look what directives are in angular and uh, how pretty much set them up and get them started with your app so if you have worked with angular js then you pretty much know that uh, you can have directives like attributes so you can just say simply like input and then you can say your own custom directive or custom attribute rather you would say check on enter and then you can say type type text and all that stuff goes in here so you can then create a definition for this check on enter which would just fire whenever enter is pressed or whatever you logic code into that javascript so on a similar note we have this thing in angular and uh, in Angular, basically, directives include components and the attribute directives. And finally, we have ngif and ng4 as well, which we'll take a look later on. So to begin with, how would you add a directive is pretty much you just go to your view. And uh, I'm just going to get rid of all this. And I'm going to say hello world. Simple as that. And if you take a look in the browser, you can see that we get a simple hello world here. And uh, what we can do is simply say um, blue color, blue colored. So this is our custom directive, sort of an attribute one. So now what we need to do is actually tell Angular two things. First of all, we need to tell Angular that this is not html directive right this is not something like h1 and just simple like style or class or id it is our custom directive right so angular needs to take care of them and the second thing we need to tell is what angular needs to do with the, this directive right so you can pretty much go ahead and create a directive file for yourself but since we have um command line running so I guess we should take an advantage of that so we can say ng g directive and then we can pretty much say um, blue colored anything like that and you can see that it created two files and rather updated one as well module.ts so if you take a look what what's new in module.ts You'll find that in declarations it added something as blue color directive and you can see that it has imported it from this file right here so these two files are new for you right now and uh, just the command line tool has automatically created them so right here you can see that we have a directive decorator which includes a selector now what the selector actually is is this is the actual directive which angular would search for in your html tags so this thing needs to match whatever you are writing here so i'm just going to copy this blue color and paste it here so now it makes it our custom directive okay so far so good now what we need to do is actually inside constructor get our elements so that we can color it blue right so how we do that is pretty much like uh, making use of dependency injection like like we used to do in angular js like um, when we used to create a controller then we used to write a function and then we used to write a scope and then all other directives um, all other dependency injections and all that stuff here so in the same manner angular makes use of typescript to um, access that thing and to do that what we can say this is our element and this is going to be an element ref right and this is something you need to import from angular core so you can see that element is element ref and you need to do that actually you can just skip this though you might think you can but this is sort of provides a dependency injection and tells angular that you are um, you want an element to be passed into this directive constructor right so for now what we can do is simply just console log this element and see what we get so inside our browser you can see that in element ref we get 
this object which says native element h1 and uh, inside native element you can see pretty much that we have got um, the original h1 tag only just like if we would access it from um, something like console right so this is pretty much the same tag with all the associated properties so what we can do is instead tag native element here and uh, you can see that we get again the same thing so now finally what we can do is uh, we can say element dot native element dot uh, style dot uh, color and say uh, blue as our directive says and you can see that we have turned hello world into blue with our custom directive and you do not need to worry about what's going on here because angular will just take care of that for you so yeah that's how pretty much you create a very basic directive in angular and uh, get it to work so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one